A classic that you can strum to. This one has a laid back pace and sounds great on the acoustic guitar. A little slip sliding away by Paul Simon. Welcome back to Relax and Learn Guitar. I'm Kevin. This is Maggie May, searching for those YouTube treats. I've got my wife Vicky behind the camera. Hello. Let's get started on this great song lesson. We're going to be using a capo on the first fret to play along to the record with this one, so be sure and remember that. Uh, this one has a nice uh, pace around 60 beats per minute or so, so a nice steady pace. We got some open chords. We're going to be in the key of G, so we're going to have a G chord. <laughs> An E minor chord, a D chord, a C chord, and we are going to throw in an F chord. We'll talk about that when we get there. And last but not least, we're going to be playing a C7 chord, which is basically playing the C shape chord. Then adding your pinky down onto the second string third fret. I really like this one. The uh, for the strum patterns, he is able to use a couple of different strum patterns and switch things up throughout this song. So we'll talk about that as we go. But there is one kind of main pattern you should uh, try and nail. It's a bass down up, up down up. Bass down up, up down up. So we counted this way. One and two and three and four and. One and two and three and four and. That's the bass down up. That G and that E, the bass, when I say that, I mean the bass or the root note of that chord. So for the G, it's the sixth string. And the E minor is also sixth string. So be sure and stick around to the end of the lesson. We'll take everything we've worked on here and put it all together and you can play along with me. So for this intro, we're gonna be playing a G, alternating between a G and an E minor chord. Both those chords are gonna get two of the strum patterns. So bass, down, up, up, down, up. That's when he's doing the uh, Then he goes into the chorus that also starts on that G. Slip slide in a G. One more time, E minor. Twice. You know the near destination, the more you slip slide in a way. So the second part of that chorus, we're playing a G to a D, C to D. And I would stick with down up strums here and they're kind of sharing the measure so we have on the G we have one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and, and then back to the G with the strum pattern bass down up up down up. now if you're newer you can stick with just a couple of down strums on each of those chords you know, the near your destination, the more you slip sliding away. Whatever you feel comfortable with, and you can always start there and work your way up. And then into the verse, again, we start here on an E minor chord, back to that bass down up, up down up strum. So we have, uh, I know an E minor. He came from G hometown twice. He wore his passion for his woman like a thorny crown. I told you guys, he keeps things interesting here. We're not really playing any different chords. That second part of that verse is the uh, C to a D, back to a C. And a little flourish on this C7 chord we'll get to. I recommend here just doing down up strums. The C and D are going to share a measure. So, I wore a one and two and three and four and the uh, C on Thorny Crown, he gets a whole measure. Thorny Crown. And then we're going to throw in a little up, up, up. But the first two ups 
you're going to put that pinky down to make that C7 chord. So from the top of the uh, verse, we have, I know an E minor. It came from G hometown. You wore a C for a D like a C. Up, up, up. First two ups with a C7, last up, just a C. And then back to uh, Dolores G. I live in E minor. My love for you is so overpowering, I'm afraid I will disappear. And that's the same as the uh, end of the chorus there. He's going to that, um, oh, I can hold him to my pick here. He's going from that G, D, C, D, G. Or again, you could do C, or you could do G, D, C, D, G. Such a cool song. It is. It's one of those that's a little deceiving <laughs> because there's uh, open chords in this, and it's not so bad kind of open chord technical-wise, but to really make it interesting and throwing in the strum patterns is really what you're probably going to have to work on. And again, take it as slow as you need to. You can stick to down strums in those parts until you get up to the... And that's the bulk of the song. Now there is this F chord that I promised to talk about. He throws this in at the end of the second and third chorus. Uh, chorus being uh, slip slide in the G, slip slide in E minor. You know the G does to D is the C and you slide away. Up strum on an F, C, G. Now since, if you can play the F chord as a bar chord, by all means do that to get the full range there. But since it's an up strum, you can really use your index finger to play strings one and two on that first fret if you don't want to do the bar chord. But it's F, C, G. And then he does a little variation into the uh, verse after that second chorus. Um, it's the, uh, and I know a father who had a son. So the end of that chorus goes F, C, G. Hang on that G. I know a father who had a son. He kind of repeats the same idea with an E minor, one up strum, D, one up strum, G, one up strum. And then it's right back into the regular part of the verse with the C, D, C, C7. Really nice transition there. And then the last variation he works out is uh, at the end of the third chorus, I believe. Uh, after throwing in that FCG part, he does uh, two quick ups on the F, two quick ups on the C, and then G. Add that Paul Simon tune to the strumming along songs that you'll love playing in no time. For your next lesson, check out this video where I show you seven classic rock acoustic songs using just four chords. So check that out next. Remember, Vicki, Maggie, and I very much appreciate your support and your views here on YouTube. Until next time, also remember that you're never too old to learn. Mm -hmm.